So how's it going at Kansas State? How quickly has been this transition? Yeah, it's been a busy uh, month and a half, but fun. Um, the transition is going. Um, I love working with this staff, and it's been uh, really fun uh, working with these young men as well in the receiver room. So uh, we're growing. There's, it's a really good group. Um, those guys are eager to learn, which is exciting for me to come in the room ready to go every day. Um, their eyes are taking notes. Um, it's, it's been really positive and uh, a long way to go, uh, but we've made progress in, in six practices thus far. What was it about this job that caught your eye? Uh, I've always had a lot of respect for Kansas State and how they you know, done things in the past. Um, tough nose, uh, greedy team, always finds a way to win, but really Coach Kleiman. Um, just always had a respect for him and the culture that he's had on his fields, uh, on, the, on the playing field. And uh, his culture always showed up on the field. And that was something I, I watched from afar, being in the Missouri Valley uh, back in the days and had a chance to see it firsthand. Give us your breakdown of your room and who kind of stands out to you. Yeah, it's been a, a really good spring. Uh, Malik obviously has had a, a really productive spring. Um, Kate Warner has had a great spring so far, uh, been really consistent. Uh, both of those guys, uh, Phillip Brooks, you guys all know, uh, it's been, it's getting better. And that's, I'm pushing all three of those guys, all of them to really improve and enhance on where they are. And, and like I said earlier, they, they've been awesome um, as far as learning. Uh, a guy that you may, you're going to hear about later is RJ Garcia. He's really, really, really stepped it up this spring and he's coming along and he's growing day by day. Um, he's a guy that we need every last one of these practice to help to get him going so he can be able to help us and contribute. Uh, Sebastian Taylor, um, has been great as well. Um, he's had some flashes, shown flashes at different practices, and so he showed up as well. Um, another guy, Xavier Gordon. Um, um, you know, he's he's had a great camp so far. Uh, he's taking reps, a lot of good reps now, and he's developing. He's a guy that we're developing right now, and I've, I've been happy with he's what he's done so far. I thought that you're you're pushing those top three guys. What? For each one, what, what's kind of the biggest thing that you want them to kind of improve on before the season gets here? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of different things. And we're pushing every one of them, to be honest. Every one of them has to, we all have to, to elevate. And uh, specifically, uh, there are a lot of different things that we're working on as far as our man technique, as far as our, um, our press releases. Um, just starting over from the ground up, from, um, you know, stance and start doing things the way we want to do it uh, going forward. And they, these guys have been very, very receptive to, to that. What are you looking for from the younger guys like uh, RJ Garcia, Brennan Hawkins, to really take the next step or two to into everyday players? Just to continue to be consistent. And with all of the guys, that's what we're asking them to do um, day in and day out. They really um, come in and really work on our technique. Uh, we got a lot of technique that we're continuing to, to, to ask these guys to do uh, versus different coverages and versus different schemes and things like that. But these guys have been really good. Like I said, RJ's had a really productive camp. Um, and, and Brennan as well, he's done a great job of pushing through. It's been good to see him out on the field and get see him running around as well. Um, but we, we're challenging all these guys to just really tighten up our technique uh, going forward. With a new wide receiver coach and a new offensive coordinator, does that make someone like Cade Warner that much more valuable? Because he's almost an extension of a coach, right? Absolutely. Cade has been fun. Um, you know, a lot of questions, um, which I love. I love guys that, you know, we have a good dialogue in our meeting, um, which means they're in it. We're learning. They're up. You know, they're alert, which is critical to our success. Um, so Cade has just been, like you said, He's a he's a extension of the coaches on the field. Um, there's a, Phil Phil is also a really uh, cerebral guy when it comes to learning on, on and off the field. A little bit more quiet, but uh, we're working on that. Uh, but he's he's done a great job for us as well. Um, and and those guys, man, like I said, they they've been awesome. Uh, really embracing me as their coach coming in and listening and, and allowing me to coach them and being very coachable. Which sometimes that's tough. Uh, this has been a smooth transition uh, going forward.